I think how we could organize the rest of this review before we hit scores. I thought we could give out, we can do some awards here, right? But then we can go into cameo, needle drop, best fight, best joke. Uh, the best joke might be impossible because I thought Ryan Reynolds was freaking hilarious in this movie. Like he is in every Deadpool movie, but almost to the nth degree here. Uh, best cameo. Yeah, Chris, Ab this is a, this has been a, something that has been teased for so long regarding this movie. Who's going to show up? I don't know if you guys noticed, but Lady Deathstrike, I think, was teased in the trailer, but doesn't show up in the actual movie. Some misdirection, I think, that was actually what MCU films should do more of, and like they did in Infinity War with Hulk on Wakanda and all that shit. But here, Chris Evans returns as the Human Torch, Johnny Storm. We also have Daphne Keene coming back as X-23. You have Wesley Snipes as Blade, Jennifer Garner as Elektra, Channing Tatum as Gambit, Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill as the Cavalier, the Wolverine. Uh, those were the major ones I had. You could bring up something else if you want. I know we had Happy Hogan here too. Um, guys, what do you think was, was the best cameo? What do you got, Jax? Uh, between two. Okay. Um, okay. I'm going to go Henry Cavill. <laughs> wow. I'm going to go Henry Cavill. Um, I was between him and Chris Evans. I liked it, right? Because it's, again, fan service. He's been fan casted as Wolverine a hundred million times in the past four years. Um, I liked it. It was quick. It was funny. Like, oh, my God, the cavalry. And, like, we're going to treat, like, treat you way better than those guys down the street. Like, that was funny. It, but it was quick. I feel like Chris Evans was close, too. I didn't love the cameo I, I did like it a lot but it, it wasn't like i don't know it, it's a little too played out and then the rest of them were great too like in a way again fan service but i don't think they added really anything to the story at all so you're but going with you did Kathleen at one yeah ricky flex we talk about what matters to the story i, I kind of like gambit Rick, gambit's fine gambit like first off to say something, I don't know, going back to kind of what you were saying, Doc, about the mask and how, like, oh, it, this movie kind of showed us why they didn't do the mask. It kind of showed us why they didn't do a Gambit movie. I kind of understand. They kind of made fun of it. So I, that was the part of it where I didn't love, where it's like, oh, like, I don't know, give a legitimate Gambit performance, maybe Channing Tatum. Not his choice, I think. But they did give it to us. And he had some good action sequences there in that, in that, in that battle with Electra Blade, X-23. And Gambit, like, I think that was really good for him. A good showing. It showed, like, Gambit is a good, is a formidable freaking hero that we saw in X-Men 97. They showed it here. He's not just a side character. So I did like it. But, again, it goes kind of back to what Doc was saying with the mask. It kind of showed us also why we didn't get a Gambit movie. I couldn't yeah. get the voice. I couldn't get back past his dialect the whole time. I was just like, oh, my God. Like, I get it, the right? Minion's it's joke was funny. Very funny. And it's supposed to be, like, a joke. I think I, I don't think Channing Tatum would actually sound like that if he were to play Gambit in a serious movie. Um, but like it was just I couldn't like I, I liked it, but I couldn't get through. I was just like, this is going to destroy my brain. But go ahead, Dak. I'm sorry. I it's OK. I loved it. Like Gambit was so awesome. And I thought the action sequences look cool. I thought mm -hmm. him appearing and they all had like those five second walkouts for each appearance. That was very like showcasey. Mm -hmm. Um I loved it when he was wearing the garb and he was wearing the trench coat. And I thought the accent started off great with the first line, but it all then it all went downhill from there. And I thought that was one of the best running jokes of the movie. I think that joke, along with like every time Deadpool wakes up, he says Thor or God of Thunder. Like I thought that was also just impeccably done. Uh, I think that people are going to be upset because they knew Channing Tatum was cast as this, as this character back in like 2016 and he never got to make his movie. And people wanted to see this movie, anticipate that he's going to be in this, and see his actual Gambit. But he doesn't really give it to you. And I kind of love that because he doesn't really have to just give him this Gambit. You know, He doesn't get to make a movie. He gets to be in an inconsequential movie that he'll never actually be appearing in. This guy's never showing up in Secret Wars or whatever. He's going to have a lot of a blast. He's going to have fun doing it. You know, and where he's like saying things like a shot out of my daddy's dick and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, we're in a Deadpool movie. Let's go.
You know, let's make this accent corny as possible. He went from French to like Cajun to like Jamaican by the end of it. And then you eventually have the Minions line, like, who's your dialect coach? But then you have like Deadpool as a translator with him in the front seat. I'm like, yeah, this is yeah. awesome. I, yeah, I totally agree with you. I, I just want to call out because you mentioned something about the trailer, Misdirection. Them showing X-23 in the trailer, God, that walkout, or that you talked about the walkout or walk-up, whatever, that would have been a, such a sick walk-up if we didn't know that. And it was like, I did. And then X-23 shows up. The theater would have been like, oh, my God. That would have been crazy. And that reminds me, Jax, you're going to love this. So our theater was very lively. I'm sure yours was, too. Yeah. But, like, so each, each individual walkout or walk-up, I, I don't know what we're going to go with there. There was, like, claps, yes. you know? So, like, Blade shows up. Electra shows up. No. Tough. tough. No. The worst cameo easily in this movie. You couldn't get somebody else to do this. Like, are you kidding no me? clap? You could have gotten Ben Affleck's Daredevil if you wanted to stay in the same kind that of thing. That was a funny joke. That, that was, was a only funny joke. I'm sorry. Good thing she did this movie. I'm like, come on, dude. Like, yeah. you have X23, who's a part of Logan, Gambit, Channing Tatum, dude, and he was introduced. He never got to make his movie. That's pretty cool. Wesley Snipes, who he thought had this like bad relationship or with ryan reynolds and then he's still showing up here they make a very meta joke about that as well that's great electra come on her movie wasn't even good i know we're paying tribute to the fox marvel universe but like i feel like we had the pick of the litter here and we went with the bottom of the litter like it's just like what are we doing here come on now you can't you can't just give us jennifer garner showing up at american express commercials and put her in the middle of a billion dollar movie Come on now, give us something more. She's and last. She's, like, she's last by a lot. She was trying to be like the leader of that side group. Yeah. You know, so it was just shocking to see. Um, just quick mention of Blake Lively, Ryan, their kids yeah. also in this. Uh, Matt McConaughey as the cowboy Deadpool. Um, again, we don't see him, so it doesn't yeah. count. But I think one that we have to circle back to is Hulk. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. They, the iconic Wolverine versus Hulk. They kind of showed that. That I was like, holy shit! Potential yeah. movie. Yeah, like because we talk about Hulk not like wanting like Mark Ruffalo and everything like wants a movie and yada yada yada. They got the rights back. That would be sick. And that's where Doc and I were saying in the predictions like maybe a Hulk movie, Wolverine kind of could show up in that and be the adversary. If you're yeah. gonna make a movie like this that is so inconsequential to the outside MCU, you can make like Hulk versus. Wolverine people people would watch that you don't have to say it leads to this movie that just have him duke it out make a whole movie on it I 100% agree I thought you said we're going to circle back to Chris Evans because we got to talk more about this because it was freaking awesome and I like I said in our predictions I don't want to see more than like a quick cameo but after seeing us circle back in the post credit to him one of the great post credit sequences Great for a Deadpool movie that means nothing, but will still have you laughing as you're walking out of the theater. The whole build up to he's going to say it, he's going to say it into the flame on. And you see him flying horizontally across the sc sc screen. People in our theater were standing up and clapping yeah. like, holy shit, like people really love the Fantastic Four. This is how people like began to know Chris Evans. Did I think he was speaking weird in this movie? Yes. You know, like, what is he talking like that? You know, he's like, doesn't sound cool, but he thinks he sounds cool. That the performance is kind of weird, but him going across, just seeing him with the flame on, that was enough for me to definitely make it number two. So I, I, I totally agree with you. Everything you said, the flame on, he's going to say it. He's going to say it. It's like Avengers. Oh, flame dude, on. He's wearing yeah. like the cap, the cap sleeve too. Yeah. So you yes. know who it is. I'm like, God, then you know who it is. Um, And then the post credit scene, like, that completed the circle. That was great. Very yeah. Deadpool, like you said. I just want to highlight something because Blade's in this movie and they refer to the Blade movie that's coming. And I, in the prediction, was like, oh, potentially a Blade post credit scene. And I honestly thought they were going to circle back on that comment and do like a Blade post credit scene. I thought they were. I, I just, you have Blade in this movie. You make a reference to it. This movie's supposed to come out next year. Like, I was like, oh my God, are we getting this? No, we didn't get it. No. That was a great, I think, like, him, Wesley Snipes saying, I'm the only blade in there. I'll never be another one. I literally, like, my jaw dropped. I was like, they, like, Foggy was okay with this. Like, they were just like, yeah, whatever. Like, that's insane to me. 
there's one blade, only ever going to be one blade. But then you have, like, Deadpool pans at the camera, just, like, kind of like, yeah, shrug, one. like, oh, I don't know, maybe he's right. <laughs> you know? That, that's the meta-ness that is yeah. so freaking amazing that only works in Deadpool. Also, before we just move on to the next award, I thought, you know how Ryan Reynolds, his Deadpool, asks um, B-15 at the end of the movie, hey, I have some friends in the void that can we help get them out? I thought they all would have died at the hands of Elias. You know, as Elias came through and swiped through yeah. that layer of like mm. Ant Man and the mask. I just wanted mm. to bring that up because I thought mm. that was a flaw. Uh, best needle drop. I have You're the One That I Love by Grease in the Honda Odyssey. Bye 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 by In Sync in the opening credits. Like a Prayer with Madonna in the cl- final climax there. Iris, Goo Goo Dolls with the uh, appearance of Deadpool and Wolverine turning the corner. Jax, what do you have for best needle drop? So my best needle drop. So you'll see, I think we're going to do best fight after this. You'll see kind of the disparity between the two, but for me, best needle drop specifically was bye, bye, bye. Cause I think right. Brings you in bye, bye, bye starts playing. He's killing tens and twenties of TVA agents. Like it was right away. Yeah. I was just like, okay. Yeah. We're at a Deadpool movie. We're back. Like this is what we came for. Um, and it was him doing the dance with the little hand. Like, I was cracking up. Yes. <laughs> so good. Dude, I have been seeing people, like, recording it and putting it on the internet. I bookmarked, like, five different tweets of him doing the bye-bye-bye. That was so funny. And you could not – I think you you kind of dethroned Peter Quill in Guardians of the Galaxy for best opening dance sequence. Ooh, that was ooh, insane. Ooh. <laughs> I, it's up. I, I don't, don't know, know about Ricky that, Chief. Uh, yeah. I, I, all right, push back a little bit here. Okay. I was going to be positive and say this is my favorite because it was a great opening. This is a Deadpool movie. It's been a lo- little long since the last one, since we've seen the character. Boom, you're back. And again, with the Wolverine desecration of that body, unbelievable. But now that we're saying that, could it have been better if we knew that it was Ryan Reynolds behind the mask? Okay, yes, yes. Could, could it have been better? Water. I'm just saying. I, I, I think that has a little bit to it. I agree that was my favorite. Like, Like a Prayer, we've seen that show a thousand times. With the Like a Prayer, I'm kind of done. And obviously, the and I said it already, I think the worst fight sequence in the movie. So I'm not going to give you that needle drop. Iris was hilarious, and I love the song, but Bye 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 was better. And then you're the one I want? That was crazy because Doc and I, we were at Applebee's pregame in this movie with our cousins, and our cousins have not seen Grease. And we were literally saying, are you crazy? We're talking about this before the movie. And then Grease we, literally shows up in this movie. Amazing. And they didn't understand it. It was hilarious. But, you know, it's bye, bye, bye. But I just said, Ryan Reynolds, actually knowing that it was him, would have elevated it. Yeah. I, I'm not trying to overreact. But that was just an incredible, incredible moment. And I know it lent into such an amazing fight sequence during that and using the adamantium in the bones of Logan to do it. It was the most Deadpool beginning of all time. And I'm usually a sucker for like the old Juice Newton, you know, like Angel of the Morning. Give me that all day. And I'm glad they actually put it in here. It's a nice like motif for me to the Deadpool movies. But the bye, 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 impeccably done. It would have been better if we actually looked at Ryan Reynolds doing it. But then again, it's like, he can't, he can't move like that. He can't do that. Are you insane? Yeah, he's a talented guy, but like. Uh, the yeah. Iris thing, by the way, was like number two. Iris is number two, them rounding the corner, and like the famous video of Iris, like the Goo Goo Dolls singing it live in the rain. You have like the sparks coming down on both of them. Shirtless Hugh Jackman with the mascot just looking ridiculous, you know? And then you have that guy from the TVA staring on. So good. So good. It was perfect. Uh, amazing soundtrack. Best fight. Let's go to, I have four options. The first Deadpool Wolverine fight inside the void when they're pruned by Mr. Paradox. I have Deadpool and Wolverine inside the Honda Odyssey to the Grease soundtrack. <laughs> and then eventually the greatest showman that makes a quick appearance there. The third one is the team up fight in the void. And then uh, that's with the, all the cameos and fourth Deadpool core fight on earth. One zero 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 five. What's the best fight Jax? Hands down Honda Odyssey. I don't think, I don't think there's an argument. Um, like I really don't. That was un believable like i love the like you see wolverine's hand from the window he's like come on and then like it was just perfect um and the like the thing that led up to it was awesome too like 
how Wolverine slams on the brakes and then he's like, and that's and you lost your girl too, who's a stripper. And then Deadpool, you could see his heart. He's like, I'm gonna fight you now. <laughs> like it was so awesome. It was hysterical. Um, but yeah, I think hands down, I don't think there was a better fight scene in the movie. He left them speechless there yeah. for the first time ever, the Merc yes. with the Mouth. But also what I wanted at the end of that scene is them both smoking a cigarette in the morning. That I would thought have, that yes. would have been amazing with like that yeah. sex metaphor. Or a cigar, movie. Logan. Yeah, yeah. that would have been perfect. Ricky, what do you have for best fight? Yeah, you could even save a relationship with a stripper. <laughs> yeah, that, that was probably my favorite joke if uh, we were jumping ahead there. Um, but for me, I agree. I agree. Um, I think the first fight is close because, like, again, it's just the first That's one, mine. right? And we get the bear crawl. We get the we get a true like there's space, so we see them in an open scale. You know, we don't just see them in a tight cramped space. But that's why kind of the Honda Odyssey. Again, this movie was originally pitched as a road trip type of movie, uh, maybe as a joke, but whatever. That kind of connected for me. So I agree with you, Jax. One of the best lines, also, the Honda Odyssey fucks hard. I was wrong. Like, that's so good. But I, my favorite is definitely the first fight in the void. That's where Wolverine and Deadpool don't really know each other. They're feeling, feeling each other out. It's the first time that they're going at it. Uh, uh, and also, they, um, it's Wolverine with the actual fighting that's similar to the comic books. Him on the ground crawling, you know, type of moment. The fourth wall break where Ryan Reynolds is like, you have waited for 20, you guys have waited for this moment for so long. Nerds, get your sock out and all this <laughs> stuff. That was a perfect buildup and great commentary beforehand. And yeah, and it's just two guys that you've always wanted to see, you've been waiting for, you never thought you were going to get to see, and you were building up to that moment. So that's my number one. Best joke. I have a bunch listed here, but feel free to throw your own in. Uh, I have best joke no number one. He's let himself go since the divorce. That was uh, talking about Hugh Jackman, uh, meta commentary from Jesus. Deadpool. And then another quote was at the beginning, uh, 206 bones in the human body, 207 if I'm watching Gossip Girl from Deadpool. Another one, there's only one blade, only ever going to be one blade from Wesley Snipes. Uh, welcome to the Marvel Universe. You're arriving at a bit of a low point as <laughs> – in the TVA as dead as Wolverine's waking up and Deadpool is about to get them pruned to the void. And then lastly, quote, do we know what he was doing to the budget following the death of Chris Evans at in the void? All absolute banger of lines. Feel free to add anything else. What do you have for best line, Jax? So I have two. My first is in the TVA when Deadpool is first brought there and he runs over to the camera and he's just like, he makes the joke about Fox and then he yeah. tells him to F off. Like I thought that like, that was the first time in the movie that I had like, the camera. Yeah. And he had butts. I thought that was hysterical. Um, and then I love the joke with just uh, when Iris was playing, it wasn't like, there wasn't anything audible, like audible, but like when Deadpool was like, he opened the temp pad and then he was falling. And then you just see the guy. Like, ready to, I thought that was hysterical. That was so good. it was definitely my favorite too. Ricky. I, I thought mine was the stripper one that I said, but the low point, you're answering a little bit of that. That's that easy. one takes the cake. I, that one, I think, I don't know when the last time I laughed that hard in a theater. <laughs> I was cackling. I, I, I was dying. Welcome to the MCU. You, you're you here at a bit of a low point. He looks back twice to say it, you know, because like we have a serious conversation here. That was incredible. I can't believe Kevin Feige allowed it, but it was just him rolling with the punches. Like the amount of punches he allowed to be thrown at the MCU, it shows what of these movies can work in the MCU. Uh, okay. Those are my awards here, guys. As we wrap up here, let's give scores now. Let's do scores right now. Uh, Ricky Flux, why don't you lead it off? Then we'll go to Jax and I'll round it out. What do you give Deadpool and Wolverine? God. Um, 74. 74 out of 100. Okay. Jax. 83. A little 83. Bit okay. No, I, I, was, I was juggling back and forth. I'm at a 77. I'll split the difference right there. 